In this video, we're going to focus on subtracting numbers. So let's start with a simple example. What is 9 minus 3? To subtract a number by another number, you could use a number line. Let's start with 9. If you wish to subtract, you need to travel to the left. If you wish to add, you need to travel to the right. And so let's subtract 9 by 3. So we got to go 3 units to the left. So this is going to be 8. 7 and 6. Thus 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. And here's another simple example. 8 minus 5. So if we start with 8, we need to travel 5 units to the left in order to get the answer. So this is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So 8 minus 5 is 3. And so that's a simple way in which you could subtract one number by another number. Now let's subtract a two-digit number by another two-digit number. So for example, what's 87 minus 32? What I would recommend is to line up the numbers like this and then subtract it column by column. So 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 8 minus 3 is also 5. Therefore, the answer is 55. Go ahead and try these two examples. 96 minus 45 and also 75 minus 42. So take a minute and work on those problems. So let's start with this one. So here we have 6 minus 5 which is 1, and then we have 9 minus 4, which is 5. And so this gives us 51. Now on the right side, we have 75 minus 42. So let's begin by subtracting 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3, and then we have 7 minus 4, which is also 3. And so here are the two answers. 75 minus 42 is 33, and 96 minus 45 is 51. What about this one? 64 minus 37. Go ahead and try that example. This example is a little bit different than the other ones. So what is 4 minus 7? 4 minus 7 is negative 3. And so we don't want to do that here. When you get into a situation like that, if you subtract two numbers in a column, and if you get a negative result, you need to borrow. So we're going to borrow a 1 from the 6. So the 6 becomes a 5, and the 4 changes to a 14. So now let's subtract 14 by 7. 14 minus 7 is 7. And then we can subtract 5 minus 3, which is 2. And so the final answer in this example is 27. So that's 64 minus 37. Now what about these two? 72 minus 28 and also 84 minus 39. Go ahead and try those two examples. So if we start with 2 minus 8, that's going to give us negative 6, so we don't want to do that. Therefore, we need to borrow a 1. So the 7 becomes a 6, and the 2 changes to 12. So now we can subtract 12 by 8, and that's going to give us 4. And then we can subtract 6 by 2, which will also give us 4. So the answer for the first example is simply 44. Now let's try the next one. So 84 minus 39. If we subtract 4 by 9, that's going to give us negative 5. So once again, we need to borrow a 1. So the 8 becomes a 7, and the 4 changes to 14. So now we can subtract 14 by 9, which is 5, and then 7 by 3, which is 4. 
So the answer for the second problem is 45. So here's another example that we could try. 138 minus 45. Go ahead and work on that one. So let's line up the numbers. So first, let's subtract 8 by 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. So we don't have an issue there. And then here we have 3 minus 4, which is negative 1, so we do have an issue. Let's borrow a 1. Well, we really don't have to borrow 1. Since this is the last number, we could just do 13 minus 4. And so in this case, the answer is 93. So we can stop there. Try this one. 243 minus 57. So first, we have 3 minus 7, which is negative 4, so we're not going to do that. Let's borrow a 1. The 4 will become a 3, and the 3 will change to 13. So we transfer the 1 from the 4 to the 3, and so we have 1, 3, or 13. And so here, we're going to have 13 minus 7, which is 6. And then 3 minus 5, that's negative 2, so we're not going to do that. Let's borrow a 1 from 2. So that becomes a 1, and a 3 becomes 13. So we have 13 minus 5, which is 8. And then 1 minus nothing is 1. And so the final answer for this example is 186. Let's work on another similar example. Let's say we have 368 and we wish to subtract it by 89. Go ahead and try that. So 8 minus 9 is a negative number. So we need to borrow a 1 from the 6. So let's change the 6 from a 5 and transfer the 1 to the 8. So the 8 becomes 18. And so now we need to subtract 18 by 9, which is 9. And then if we try to subtract 5 by 8, that's a negative 3. So we need to borrow a 1. So the 3 is going to become a 2, and the 5 changes to 15. So now we can subtract 15 by 8, which is 7, and then 2 the minus nothing, we could just bring down a 2. And so the answer that we have here is 279. Now let's subtract a four-digit number, 2356, by a three-digit number, 478. So let's try that example. So here we have 6 minus 8, which we can't do that. That's negative 2. So we're going to have to borrow a 1. And so the 5 changes to a 4. And the 6 becomes 16. So now we can do 16 minus 8. And so that's going to give us 8. But we can't do 4 minus 7 because that's going to give us a negative number. Therefore, we need to borrow again. So let's take a 1 from the 3. The 3 becomes a 2. The 4 becomes a 14. So now we have 14 minus 7, which is 7. And then 2 minus 4, that's a, another negative number. So let's borrow a 1 from the 2 and transfer the 1 to the other 2. So we have 12. Now 12 minus 4 is 8. And then the last one, we could bring it down. So our final answer is 1878. And if you have your calculator with you, you can just plug this in to make sure that the answer is indeed correct. Let's try one more example. 5,472 minus 3,685. So this is going to be the last example for the video. Go ahead and try this. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So therefore, we need to borrow a 1 from the 7, making that 6. And then the 2 will become 12. And so we have 12 minus 5, which is 7. And 6 minus 8, that's a negative number. So 
let's borrow another one from the 4, changing that to 3, and 6 becomes 16. So 16 minus 8, that's 8. And then 3 minus 6, can't do, so let's take a 1 from the 5, making that a 4, and then 3 becomes 13. Now 13 minus 6 is 7, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So the answer is 1787. Now let's confirm it. And so this answer is indeed correct. So now you know how to subtract a number by another number. Thanks for watching.